introduce the new van. It's a 2014 Ford Transit 350L extra high roof um, long wheelbase and it's going to be my new project. The reason I went for this van is I didn't want a, a super long van so this is kind of like only five and a half meters long so it still fits in a standard car space but it is the only van in its size which is extra high so I can stand up in it being six foot four and the clearance is six foot seven inside. So the first thing I want to do is rip out everything in the van so I'm left with just the bare shell so I know exactly what I have to work with. So that's the walls, the floor, the wheel arches, and also in this case for the van is the cargo barrier that separates the front and the back. So once the van's all cleaned up, I'll start taking measurements to create a 3D model of the van. I like to use a program called SketchUp Pro. It's super easy to use, free, and really gets you the opportunity to design your van and know exactly what it's gonna look like before you start cutting holes in the walls. So the design I've come up with is a fixed widthways bed in the rear, a middle dining area with a slide out dining table that goes under the bed and a kitchen that sits behind the driver's seat on the right hand side. I've also got a slide out deck that will be used as the base for your shower on the rear door and a rooftop deck that can be used as a cargo area and a surfboard store. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to create a separate video about this design. Okay, so at the moment I'm laying down the subfloor insulation uh, frame and I've just kind of stripped down some 15mm plywood because I've got 15mm insulation. It's pretty warm here in Australia so I don't need like a, a really thick floor insulation. I was kind of not really considering putting in a floor insulation. I thought I've got extra height anyway so I might as well put it in. So I just stripped down some 15mm plywood into 40mm wide pieces. I found that was the cheapest way I could get strips like that. And I've just cut them into a pattern where I'm going to fill it in with the insulation after. So the way I'm going to screw these down is I'm going to glue them with a construction adhesive that's called liquid nails here. And then I'm going to screw them into the floor with um, self-drilling metal screws. So I'll hold it down nice and tight and then it won't vibrate or squeak or anything um, when the wood rubs against the metal. So this is the insulation I got. It's 15 millimeter cord foil board. So it's like an insulating uh, underfloor foil backed and side. So it's got some good thermal properties. It's pretty cheap and thin, so that's kind of what I was after. So yeah, I've got. Okay, so I'm just putting in the plywood flooring and I just want to show you how I'm going to cut around these tricky corners. So all vans have these kind of tricky round edges that you got to cut your plywood in um, and make sure everything fits. It can be pretty niggly. So the way I've done it in the past is I've just cut some pieces of cardboard to the size that it's kind of roughly and then you can kind of keep trimming and trimming and, and testing until it's fitting. It does take a while and um, can be slow so the way I'm trying it this time is I've bought myself a what the f these things called again uh, can't remember what they're called chamfer angle gauge something gauge 
contour gauge. So you could push it up, it's got all these little slots and pins. You push it into a, um, a strange or an uneven surface and then it kind of contours to the, to the shape. So I'll show you how I'm doing it on this piece of plywood here that's, I'm gonna try line up right at the, the front of the van here. Okay, so here is where I need to cut out um, to allow this plywood to fit in here with this uneven or unflat surface. So I wanna put my contour gauge along here. Like so. And then I can move it back and line it up with my marks from where I've figured out where this is gonna end up. And then I know exactly the contour of this edge here. So I can leave this because this is gonna be what fills in this space and I can cut this out. So hopefully that fits. All right, so I've just cut out the plywood floor in that shape and it actually came out exactly how it's supposed to. I'm really surprised because I've never actually used a contour gauge before. So there's a bit of guesswork as well, but yeah, it's come out really nice. The contour is pretty much perfect where it needs to be. So that's gonna save me a lot of time doing these little sections around the floor where there's like um, pillars and the wheel arches and stuff. So I think that's gonna be really good and I really am pleased with this contour gauge. Have I sold it to you? cover the wheel arches I've just made a rectangular box and insulated it with the same material I use under the floor so that's just 15 mil styrofoam and I'm just going to screw that to the floor and I've made it square or with straight edges instead of trying to conform to the contours of the wheel arts just because I don't think you really get much use out of having um, a rounded box you can't really do much with it later and it's not really worth the effort when you try and build something a bit more complicated. Alright guys, that is it for this video. If you got some use out of it, remember to hit that like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions, I'll get back to you. If you haven't already, subscribe here so you don't miss any of my latest updates. My next video will be coming out very shortly. It's gonna be about an aluminium roof rack I've just built. So it's all pop riveted together, no welding required. It's gonna save me an absolute fortune. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you soon.